when you are in the market to buy a portable oxygen concentrator, there are a few key things that you really need to think about. What you should ask yourself is, what is the dimensions of the portable oxygen concentrator? Where are you going to be taking it? Where will it be sitting? And just make sure that it fits in the area that you would like. Another one is how much air does the concentrator deliver in a continuous flow. They range from anywhere from between a half a liter to three liters per minute of continuous flow. How much airflow does the concentrator deliver in a pulse flow? This also varies by models. The majority of the portable concentrators sold today can deliver up to six liters per minute in the pulse flow settings. What is the oxygen purity level? So most of the concentrators deliver between 87 and 93% pure, pure oxygen. The next question would be, how long will the concentrator deliver oxygen on battery power? It, all, it goes from between two to six hours, depending on if you're in pulse flow or if you're in the continuous flow. How many batteries can the concentrators hold? Um, how long does it take to recharge a battery? How loud is the concentrator? Most of them are not very loud at all, but they are a little more noisy if they are in the continuous flow. Um, this is for our traveling people. Has your oxygen concentrator been FAA approved? This question should be yes. Um, my suggestion would be to never purchase an oxygen concentrator that has not been FAA approved. Depending on where you live, what is the storage temperature of your oxygen concentrator? Due to the delicate nature of the concentrators, it will have a what you should store your concentrator at. Humidity ranges for your oxygen concentrators. I'm going to quickly go over the specs of a couple of our pulse flow units that we do carry here at LPT Medical. The first one is going to be the Inogen 1 G3. This is a 16 cell battery. The size of this Inogen 1 is 8.8, .8, the length is 8.8, .8, and the height is 8.3, and it's 3 inches wide. It only weighs 5.8 pounds, so it's very little, and you could carry this anywhere. The pulse flow on this is between 1 and 5, and the oxygen purity on this is 90%. There is two batteries on this one as well. Um, the battery life, it all depends. It ranges from if you're on 1 liter of pulse flow, and that's 9.5 hours, to if it's 5 liters, to 3, a little over 3. It is FAA approved. The temperature is between 41 and 104, so that's a quite a wide range. Um, you can store it from between negative 13 to 158. Again, a very high range. The humidity between 0% and 95%. The next one would be the Respironix Simply Go Mini, and this is has an extended battery. The size of this is a little over 10 inches high. The width of it is a little over 8. The actual width of this is 2.6. This one weighs 6 pounds, so again, very lightweight. Um, the pulse flow that you can use this on is between 1 and 6 liters per minute. The oxygen purity, again, depending on what flow rate you're on, is between 87 and 96. This one just has one battery. If you're on between one and two, the battery life is nine hours. If you're on three liters, it's five. Four liters is four, and five liters is three hours. It takes between four and eight hours to recharge this battery and it is FAA approved. 
This one is the operating temperature is 41 degrees to 95, so again, a very <coughs> wide range. The storage is between negative four and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity range that you can use this in or store is between 15 and 93 percent. Thank you for watching guys and if you have any questions please feel free to give one of our respiratory specialists a call at 1-800-946-1201 and they would be happy to help you with any questions that you may have regarding either of these two units.